Hi everyone, uh, this video is going to be covering some quiz 11 problems about tiling. Um, if you haven't watched the first video that goes over some of the vocabulary and concepts uh, that I posted earlier, then go ahead and watch that one first um, and all this will make a lot more sense. Uh, but if you watched that already and um, know some of the vocabulary, um, we can start looking at these true-false problems. So. This first one is uh, saying that Schlafly symbol 34334 is the same as 43343. Um, if I just sort of crudely draw this first one out here, so 3, 4, 3, 3, and then another square, 4 here, um, I can represent that as well as 43343, three, so 43343. Three, I could say that those two are the same, right? So one way to do that is to just kind of crudely draw it out. Um, another way to think about this is to uh, look at this arrangement of them. So three, four, three, three, four, and see if you can recreate that being able to loop around from the last version to the, or from the last uh, portion there to the second portion there. So three, four, three, three, four is what I'm looking for. So three, four, three, three, four. Right, three, four, three, three, four, three, four, three, three, four. So um, that would be true for this one. Um, next one says a dual figure of a semi-regular tiling is a regular polygon. Well, we actually saw that when we looked at this semi-regular tiling. Uh, so we've got square, square, and then triangle, 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 like that. Um, if we look at the, so that's a semi-regular tiling. If we look at the dual tiling of this, we end up with uh, this sort of, uh, you know, classic house shape, right? This pentagon. Uh, this pentagon is not regular. Uh, so this is at least one example of a situation where a, a semi-regular tiling gives me a non-regular polygon. So we would say that this is uh, false. A regular pentagon can tile the plane? Uh, no, the only ones that we can do that with are triangles, squares, and hexagons. Okay, a regular hexagon can tile the plane? Sure. Um, the dual of a regular quadrilateral tiling is a regular triangle tiling. So regular quadrilateral tiling they're talking about our square tiling here. Um, so this uh, tiling on here has a dual tiling that looks like this. So again we're just taking just like we did up here we're taking the center of each of those shapes and we are connecting them. Um, so it looks like doesn't make a triangular tiling, it makes a quadrilateral tiling. So this one has a uh, pentagon for a dual polygon, so the pentagon would make up the dual tiling. Uh, this one's got a square, so uh, this is saying it's a triangle, that's not true. Um, this one's interesting, a dual of a regular triangle tiling is a regular triangle tiling. Regular triangle tiling. So let's apply that same thing, try to figure out what that dual polygon would look like. And you can see that this is in fact a uh, hexagon. It's a regular hexagon, right? Um, but it is a hexagon, not a triangle, like it's mentioned here, so this one has got to be false as well. Um, <clears throat> this next one here, a portion of the tiling is shown. Uh, we're trying to pick the right Schlafly symbol. So I'm going to look at just uh, this vertex here. Right. So looking at just this vertex here, I can kind of count my shapes. I've got one, two, three, four, 
five shapes surrounding a vertex every time. So those shapes in order, um, starting with this hexagon, is I've got a uh, red hexagon, I've got a triangle, 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 triangle. So um, in theory, this is one of the Schlafly symbols that describes this semi-regular tiling. Um, if I don't see this exact one on there, it may not be uh, a death sentence for this. Um, but um, so certainly not this one because it doesn't have the hexagon. This one's got two hexagons. This one's also got two hexagons. So it can't be any of those. Um, this is the only option left. But just to show you that this is the same as what I've got here, I'm looking for six and then one, two, three, four threes. This is six followed by one, two, three, four, three. So again, I'm allowed to sort of loop back uh, if I continue um, in the last term that kind of loops back to the uh, first term there. So that one in fact does work out. Um, which of the following polygons is used to make the module for the semi-regular tiling with Schlafly symbol 34433? Okay. So this is a module question. So I'm going to go ahead and draw this out. Three, four, four, three, and another triangle three. Make that up. This should look familiar if you saw the last video. And I've got one, two, three, four, five. Uh, different pieces there if I connect the inside of all of them. So um, what I've got here is this here is one fourth of a square. I've got another one fourth of a square. I've got one third of a triangle. I'll just uh, Shorten that one third of a triangle plus one third of a triangle. Um, this, without doing any um, multiplying yet, this gives me one half of a square plus one, two, three thirds of a triangle. So one triangle. Um, this is the contents of that dual polygon. Um, but in order to convert to a module, we don't want any fractional uh, pieces here. So I'm going to multiply this by two in this case. Uh, so whatever, whatever symbol it takes in order for you to um, not have any fractions on there. So right, if you've got a one third and a one sixth on there, you're going to have to multiply everything by six. But in this case, we multiply by two, so we get one square and two triangles. All right, if I multiply this by two, I get one. Multiply this by two, I get two. Uh, so now I'm on the lookout for one square and two triangles. That's this one. Um, so yeah, I think the toughest part of this one is not the math, but just kind of avoiding the temptation of saying, three, four, four, three, three. Okay, that's two squares and three triangles. Uh, so don't pick this one, right? That's the, that's the one they're trying to trick you with. Okay, um, next one says, uh, Anne claims that she can surround a vertex with the following pattern of regular polygons in order. So we've got an octagon, hexagon, triangle, and a triangle. Um, when I look for the Schlafly symbol, I'm looking for eight, six, three, three. Um, I don't see that expressed exactly like it is. This one's got two hexagons, so it can't be that. Um, let's see, uh, eight, six, three, three, so eight. Okay, I've got a three there instead of a six like I expected, so I can't have that one. This one is eight, six, three, three. I'm not going to fill this one in yet because uh, it turns out this one actually, even though it 
represents this Schlafly symbol. Um, the claim is that she can surround a vertex with the following pattern of regular polygons, right? So um, if I kind of crudely draw, here's what an octagon looks like, here's what a, and then I'll put a, my hexagon down here, and then a triangle and a triangle. Seems like they would fit, right? It's possible that they would fit, but we need all of these angles to add up to 360 degrees, right? Um, so let's see, A633. So let's uh, figure out the octagon. If we use this formula of <clears throat> um, so octagon has interior angle equal to um, so the formula in general is n minus 2 times 180 divided by, this is for a regular octagon, uh, divided by n. So that's going to be equal to um, 8 minus 2 times 180 divided by 8. Uh, so that ends up being 135 degrees. So octagon's got an interior angle of 135, regular hexagon. Uh, so I'll just maybe put these up here. So we've got 135. For this one, a hexagon has 120. And then regular triangles have 60 degrees each, right? So each time I can just use that formula that I've got there. Um, if I add these up, let's see, 60 plus 60 is going to be 120 plus 120 is 240. Um, so this is going to be 3, looks like 375 degrees when I add them together. Um, needs to be exactly 360 degrees. So even though my crude drawing may seem like it's uh, making it possible, um, that is not actually the case. So we'll just make a statement here that makes sense when we look at it later. Without the video, 375 is not equal to 360 that we want. So turns out this cannot be used to surround a polygon or surround a vertex. Okay, um, this next one is asking uh, which of the following is the correct dual polygon for the tiling shown below? And then we've got a list of options here. So just remembering what the dual um, polygon looks like, we take the, uh, so let's say, let's look at this vertex here. Okay. Um, we would take, you know, we've got three shapes here that we're interested in. So we would look at the center point of each of those three shapes as best as we can. And we'll try to make a shape with it. Um, we can repeat that process if we really want to, right? This this vertex here uh, contains these three shapes. All right, so we can kind of continue on and on. Uh, but the point is that this shape here, that is the dual polygon, right? Um, and we can use that to um, also tile the plane here. So let's look for it. Um, this one, uh, these are the only two triangles, but this one uh, has the shape that best represents it, I think, right? An isosceles triangle um, about this size there. So I'll go ahead and call that one the dual polygon. Okay, um, that should be enough to... Uh, Help you solve all the problems you have for quiz 11 and I will see you on uh, either Monday or Tuesday.